am currently selling an M&J TV t-shirt. If you are a fan of my channel and want to pick one up, head to the link down in the description below. You have until the end of the day, June 21st, at which point they will be gone. Greetings, Wookie fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Galaxy playthrough. My very first journey through this ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald version. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure to answer the comment question, and if you saw the last episode, make sure you check it out. So you know what the boot is going on! So quick shout out to my sponsors, Controller Chaos. If you want to pick up a quick ball pattern, Xbox One controller, or Nintendo Switch joy cons link is in the description. And... If you like the shirt I'm wearing, it's from my other sponsor, NVAM. If you want to pick up some cool clothes by them, link is also in the description. You can use code MNJTV for 10% off. Um, we're going to do the fighting gym in this episode, probably. Uh, hopefully it doesn't suck. <laughs> That's really all I had to say. Oh, I also hopefully will not be getting as overheated as I did in the last episode because I uh, I sat in front of a fan for a while. It got really cold, but I'm fine now. Hopefully, hopefully I don't just suddenly get uncomfortable. But we have to battle. Is that st is it still Aquilava? Hi, Michael. Should have known you'd be the last of us to get here. I was hoping I might get to battle you. Are you ready to battle now? Sure. Come on, let's battle. You won't beat me to that e You won't be able to beat me that easily. It's still a Quilava at this point in the game. What are you doing? How is it still a Quilava? Oh, we are not good against Gardevoir. But seriously, how are we still... <laughs> I'm just, like, annoyed by this. Why is it not a Typhlosion? It would make so much sense if it was a Typhlosion. Did they, like, not have an overworld sprite for it? Is that the problem? Ah, man. Oh, the special defense drop! Alright, we're gonna flash cannon again. Alright, well, we're not using Psychic until this thing goes down, but that's fine. Okay, he didn't heal. Real quick, just let me make sure my... Okay, my sound is all good. Minimize. There we go. Sorry for the the little break in the sound. All right, so man, imprint. That's like the first time I've in a long time I've seen imprison actually succeed outside of a metronome battle. I mean, metronome battles they're brutal, but the rest of the time they don't really matter. Okay, well, that's a glitch, because Frog is a dark type. He should not, she should not take damage from Future Sight. Wow, all right. I mean, it's not like it's a game-breaking glitch. It's just like, what the heck? All right, I'm switching into Genesect here because I want to try and see if I can KO it with Fly. What's up, dude? He might use spiky shield, so this may not work. But I figured I would try. Oh, he didn't. Ah! <laughs> yes! Arch Crow! Ah, uh, yeah. Arch Crow is weak to. And I need more stuff for. Flying types. I really need something that, like... I need a better Pokemon for the fourth slot in my party. Oh, I'm actually reasonably certain we're close to getting access to the old Amber, so we could get, like, an Aerodactyl. A Seedra. Salix gets to do something! <laughs> I suppose he'll have a Kingdra later in the game. 
That's my prediction. Booyah. I shouldn't be bragging about winning this. I, I was doing Switch style. All that training you did really paid off, didn't it? Yours clearly has not because you have a level 44 Quillava. All right, you won this time, but I still have eight badges. You only have seven. Here, I'm sure you can make use of this. All right, well, that's how we get Waterfall. And each gym will let you scale waterfalls like the ones peppering Waterfall Gorge. You'll need the badge from this gym, of course. Be seeing you. Take care. He's so friendly. Thanks, Percy. All right, to the gym! Also, he did not bat an eye at me just tossing out Janisect and Jirachi. <laughs> Why did you get those? You don't, but... I just did 50 sets of push-ups. Winning a Pokemon battle ought to be a breeze. You're doing push-ups and I'm getting on a bench press? I guess. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Sup. Dang it, not a 2 8 KO. Man, you feel free to false swipe me all day. <laughs> I don't think Golade's very heavy, so I'm pretty sure Giga Drain's our best move here. It's false swipe. What are you doing? Oh yeah. Bye, Gallade. We've seen a lot of Gallades the last couple of episodes. There's one guy who had like two of them. How can a little kid like you hope to match our muscle power? I'll grow. Thank you very much. I didn't actually go to the gym today. I feel kind of bad. But we had a lot of errands to run. All right, let's see if Grass Knot does more. Or let's see if Giga Drain does more. Looks very close to the same. Honestly don't know what did more. Oh, come on. There you go. If, it, if I see Endor just speeding through that turn. Oh, I just realized this thing might have Ice Punch. Okay, it has Mega Punch. This will still hurt, but it won't hurt as bad as an Ice Punch. Oh, that actually hurt less than I thought. I should have Giga trying to get it back. Oh, well, who cares? The amount of Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee trainers in this game is absurdly high. Like, I get that they're paired together, but, like, creativity would be good. Are these just all... I guess all these battles are optional. Alright. I mean, I'm gonna do them. Training is good. Hero. What up, me and... Boo! Alright, Giga Drain's definitely better here, because this is a light little dude. Yeah. Good night! 47, Mian Shao. Mian Shao. Let's go Quake for this one. Quake resists fighting. So, he might come in handy for this. Poison doesn't resist... Fighting doesn't resist poison. So let's just go poison jab. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, if only... Poison was enough to finish it off. But now we're gonna take an extra turn of damage, unfortunately. Flame missed. Might be enough to get quick to 47? Yeah! We're gonna get everybody to 47. Maybe. He 
These exercises are too easy. Dude, then add more weight to your... What are you doing? Push yourself! Don't push yourself to hurt yourself. Push yourself. Fake out! Dun, 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 dun. This, uh, battling through this gym is making me, like, feel like, hey, I work out. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Like, it's, it's making me think about, like, my workout routines and stuff, because I'm seeing an in-game workout gym. <laughs> Scary face. I've, uh, my brother and I worked out yesterday, which was good. He's got this Planet Fitness membership that, like, lets him take, like, one free guest a day, which is, like, a really good deal. Because it's only, like, 25 bucks a month. Um, and so we're, we're, we're gonna start, like, m meeting up once a week, uh, to work out together in the evening, which I'm looking forward to that, you know? We get to, like, catch up. I get social interaction, which I need. <laughs> and, uh, Get a good workout in. We went to Smoothie King afterward. Doing cardio sucks, but battling is fun. Okay, I gotta agree with you on that one, buddy. Sensei ran. Where did he run? I just realized Frog is actually kind of risky, because he's weak to fighting. <laughs> so we're just gonna go into Starfeet, it'll be fine. Sped through the detect turn, because that's a wasted turn. Alright, just don't endure. Or use Blaze Cake, that would really hurt. Although, we'll probably Oko you here. It mon -chan. Alright, I said I want to get everybody to level 47, but I'm not confident that Greninja can KO uh, <laughs> fighting types in one hit. Because if he doesn't KO him in one hit, he's, it's going down. So, I think we'll just lead with Starfy for this last battle. See if we can get it to level 48. I think you can defeat my fists of steel? Think again! I do think I actually can, honestly. Ma, Chug! <laughs> Just his head like, no! <coughs> what a ridiculous animation. Alrighty. Macha! I wonder what Pokemon this guy's gonna have. A little bit worried about any fire fighting types. Firefighting types, because I've, uh... Well, I guess Nino King's a good counter for those, actually. Because Starfy's weak to the fire, Greninja's weak to the fighting. But, uh, Nino King resists the fighting. And has the dig, so... Nino King should actually handle those. Um, we're gonna run back and heal. And pray to God he doesn't lead with a firefighting type, because then I have to switch and that's always dumb. Um... But all right, let's do this final gym battle in this region. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't even speeding up the game and couldn't get in the door. All right, let's do this. Hey, you made it all the way here. Not bad at all, but I'm gonna league on my own. Hope you're ready to face the toughest gym leader in Toonod, because you're about to battle him. Clever dialogue. Hope you're ready to face the toughest gym leader in Toonod. Because you're about to battle him. What is its cry? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, you're not weak to psychic. Ugh. You're weak to flying. You're weak to fighting. Alright, we can probably get a safe switch in with Tyrese. Because he'll go for a dark move. Oh, no, you won't. He'll go for a bulk up. Which is a little scary. 
Extra damage for Fake Out. Leftovers? I'm pretty sure every gym leader Pokemon just has leftovers. Really need this to Oko. Oh boy, it did not because of the defense boost. Okay, we might still live this. Okay, we did. Sweet. All right, thank God we outsped that thing. <laughs> I was about to get sticky. Oh, cool. Power boost. A Glade. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just like safely switch into. What are you weak to? You're weak to ghost and flying. I think we're gonna go ahead and safe switch to Starfy. Cause I should probably preserve Tyrese for that priority. And this thing goes for a psychic move. It goes for like Zen Headbutt and Starfy tanks that like nothing else. Oh, it goes for Brick Break. What? Well, that did an annoyingly large amount of damage. All right, so two hit KO. Okay, he actually doesn't have leftovers, which is good, because I don't know if this would KO. Oh, no. Well, that's just plain not fair. You've got to be kidding me. That is such bull. Of course he hyper potions. This is really bad. Lost our best Pokemon for this thing because that thing barely freaking survived. Oh, please burn it if it doesn't KO at the very least. Oh my God, are we gonna are we gonna lose this stupid Gallade because of that stupid Shadow Ball not KOing? Are you kidding me? Wow, this is the most unfair thing I've seen. This thing has barely survived a hit twice. We're gonna lose this battle, guys. Like, oh wait, I can't. Ugh. Like, I don't, I don't, that freaking Gallade just barely living those attacks really screwed us over. Oh my god. Really need Dig to Oko. Oh boy, if Dig does not Oko, we 100% lose. Thank God. Well, this is helpful timing. <laughs> Learning freaking extra sensory. That's really funny. We're learning this like during the fighting type battle. Conkelder. All right. I'm worried about this thing setting up. I'm quite sure we're going to outspeed it, so I think I'm just going to spam rock slide because fighting doesn't resist rock um 
and just hope I flinch it. Because we're gonna have to wear it down. Like, there's no way we can Oko this thing. Its defense is too good. And so I have to try and keep it from setting up. Fighting does resist rock. That is news to me. Oh, come the frick on! Alright, we've lost this, guys. Such bull with that freaking Gallade. Ugh, that was so stupid. Yeah, there's no way this doesn't KO. Yeah. God, that was stupid. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. Like, if Gallade, if Gallade doesn't barely survive that second Shadow Ball, we win this easily. But that was just like... I'm, that's just like one of the most... Ugh. That lost us the, the match. Of course, Fly misses. Let's just get this over with, yeah. Alright, well... We are doing that again. I am not grinding. I should never have lost that match. We will not lose again. Because that BS that happened in that match won't happen again. Doesn't have Intimidate, so we can leave with Tyrese. Fake out. Prevent it from bulk upping. We crit it, cool. Alright, leftovers. Jump kick. This KOs now, because he doesn't have bulk up set up. Yep. Need to do as much damage as possible before this thing tries to get a sword stance up. I would rather him Zen Headbutt KO Tyrese than get a sword stance up. That's fine. Um. Still needs two Shadow Balls, unfortunately, unless this crits. Dang it. Oh, we got the special defense drop. Okay, he heals here. But this is actually fine, because the special def that was such a clutch special defense drop. We deserved that after last match. Because now this is a two-hit KO. Yep. Oh, we got another one! Wow! Suck on it, Gallade! That- that is the universe being cut- What?! Oh, I guess that was one- that was his last- we never saw the Burloom, that's right, we never got that far. There we go. So I got the Conkelder and the Lucario left, I believe. Ah, so close. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Thankfully, I wasn't holding an item, because if I was holding an item, that would have KO'd. Okay, he does heal here. Which is fine, because we outspeed. And so now we can KO him on the next turn. Just stop with the freaking leftovers! 
Okay, he didn't go for Mach Punch. I actually had forgotten about Mach Punch, but thankfully he just didn't go for it. Probably because it was just neutral. I'm getting real tired of this dinging, but... <laughs> Um, this thing can KO us from this range. I'm worried about... I know... We know that Nidoking can Oko it with Dig. So, I think I just go for Psychic here, in case it goes for Sword Stance. Just trying to get as much damage as possible. Oh, the special defense drop! <laughs> Okay, it goes for Crunch, that's fine. And, uh... I actually think we go into Frog here, because it's got lowered special defense. We just want to make sure we outspeed. Like, I highly doubt he heals again. Like, we just, like, a Surf KOs. See? If that stupid BS barely surviving Shadow Ball doesn't happen, we wreck the battle. Like, I didn't have to do any grinding, I just had to get not so incredibly unlucky. Makes you look damn awesome. Okay, alright, that was funny. That was I was not expecting that. Break, break. Uh, my fighting type. I, I, I like jump kick, because it's yet to miss. Knock on wood. And also, when that Mian Xiao missed jump kick, it did, like, no damage to itself. So, definitely low risk, high reward. Because it's base 100 power. Oh, I didn't mean to do that again. All right, what we're going to do... Excuse me. Ooh, I apologize. Um, we have to have Waterfall. We're going to teach Waterfall to Frog. Um, and then after we get through the Victory Road, delete it. Um, I think we're going to get rid of Extra Sensory for the time being. Because... I don't honestly foresee myself using it very much. Um, and if I really want to teach him it again, I'll just go to the Move Tutor. Uh, but we do need Waterfall. I want to make Surf the primary move. There we go. And I want to get Sherman, because it's the victory road, so we're probably going to need quite a few HMs. <laughs> it's a hack of a Gen 3 game. <laughs> Sorry, Genesect. Your your fly missed in that first gym battle. And uh, that was embarrassing. I should buy more stuff. Where's the Mart in this town? Wait, is there no? this too. They're just the freaking pharmacy. Crap. What do I have? I have five max repels. That's honestly probably enough. Two max revives. 17 hyper potions. Five revives, eight full heals. I actually think we're okay. And like, if we run out of repels, it's just I'll run from all the battles. It's not the end of the world. Oh, hello. <laughs> Probably should have put Septile in front. I actually think, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up after this episode. Uh, after this battle, I mean. Go, Septile! Uh, just because it's getting kind of late, and 
even though I crushed it the second time, I'm still kind of salty about that first battle. So I need to I need to take a break for a little while. Just because that was like, oh god, that Gallade two times barely survived a move that resulted in the Pokemon I was using dying. But we took care of it. Crushed it the second time. Crushed it. I'm just gonna speed through this. I didn't see what it was, but it's a water type, so. Floatzel. Alright, cool. Actually, guys, I'm kinda thinking at the start of next episode, um, now that we have Waterfall, there's actually multiple places throughout the region that have, like, a waterfall that I wasn't able to access before that I kinda wanna check out. Um, so I actually think that's what we're gonna do at the start of next episode. Um, instead of going into the victory road or whatever it is. Um, because I, well, let's just, let's just speed battle this swimmer here so I don't, like, get attacked by him later because I forgot. So I'll, uh, oh, ooh, all right, uh... Haha, he was stupid. All right, cool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna go around all those places at the start of the next episode. But for this episode, that is all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure to answer the comment question. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all.